I'm bored. I'm very bored. This is not an official episode of I Am Bored with Laser Beam. But like, I was I was just on the internet looking at random crap and I, and I saw this funny image of Google Street View. Like, imagine it. How rare is it to see a Google Maps car? I, like, they go around every five years. They have to map the entire planet. They're busy. But coincidentally, you're just going about your life and then you have what I like to call a Windows error moment. And that once in every five years Google map car just happens to be driving past and all of a sudden the image is on the internet for millions of people to see. Now th th this like got me curious. I'm like, what's the weirdest stuff that's ever happened in front of a Google Maps car? Look, we're locked inside. I can't go out in the real world. I might as well explore it with Google Maps. All right, so like this is uh this is our first this one's actually quite sad. Uh not don't, didn't really want to start the video on a sad note, but there's a bunny rabbit. And now look, obviously we're in Street View. You know we can't be in the real world, so we're in Street View. Uh, if we just go forward a little bit. Oh yeah. Oh I don't want to. Oh no. Oh okay. Now what if we go a little bit for, more forward, and then we look back, and then it's. Oh god, it's actually flying now. No! 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 At least he looks like he's having fun up there. Oh, we should... This is meant to be a funny video. What are we starting like this for? Man, we went even more forward and my... Mo l what air time? Honestly? Air Jordan? More like air bunny rabbit. Put that on a shoe. How unlucky is this bunny rabbit? The chance that this bunny rabbit would be crossing a road as a Google Maps car comes across. It's actually been called Rabbit's Ascension on the map. <laughs> Oh, it's in Poland. It's pretty tragic, but not the worst thing to happen in Poland. Like, look, we're in Street View. We can't be in the real world. So um, we're exploring the virtual one. And it's just a man wearing a horse mask eating a banana. How did he know the car was coming? They literally come around every five years. How do they know? Or does he just live every day like this? Oh, this is Canada. Yeah, those Canadians are weird. They drink tree juice, also known as maple syrup. Weird people. <laughs> this is the time that a Google Maps car saw a Bing car. I don't even know they made Bing cars. Oh, God, what a disgusting creature. Imagine working for Bing. The Bing car probably just wanted to be on Google Maps so people would actually know what a Bing car is. Oh, my God, this is Bing Maps. Guys, we're on Bing Maps right now. This is disgusting. I'm, I want to vomit. <laughs> but this is the Bing car's point of view. I didn't even know Bing had maps. All right, this looks like we're in an Argentinian street. Dude, I'm exploring the entire planet. All right, let's... Oh. <laughs> you know, truck's all fine. Everything looking good. Then we go forward a little bit. And yep, catastrophic failure. How many times does the Google Street car go through Argentina? And you happen to have a screw up like this. Oh, mate, you're lucky they blurred your face because otherwise you'd be living with a life of shame. Photos taken seconds before disaster. <laughs> I'm just in California, minding my own business. You know, I'm about to turn into this street. Why the hell this Five Nights at Freddy looking? <laughs> that thing looks terrifying. If that thing was staring, I think I was, I think I was in a horror movie. I'm told this is from Chuck E. Cheese. I don't know what that is. I've never heard of a Chuck E. Cheese in my life. So as far as I'm concerned, this is a horror movie. I just want to know if this guy had some inside information a Google Maps car was coming through, or if this is just how he lives his everyday life. Look, I'm not one to judge furries, um, but it just seems like it'd be kind of irresponsible to drive around with a giant mouse on your head. Uh, this Google map location is called Savannah's Secret. The world at your feet, Savannah's Secret. Is this gonna be a foot thing? Um, first of all, a catastrophic accident must have taken place for a street view car to end up inside a building. These, luck these women are lucky to be alive unless this is going to end up like the rabbit and these girls will be in the air soon. Hi, uh, I'm a Google Maps street car. I'm here for the pole dancing lessons. I'm not a car at all. I'm a tripod. My girlfriend won't like that. I got to leave this place. Just another classic drive in northern Ostrobothnia. I know where that is. All right, just going for a, a drive down the road. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> God. Oh, God. That horse is not happy. Oh, no. Oh, if we zoom in, I think you can clearly analyze this image and uh, unfortunately realize... This girl is about to be thrown from the horse. All right, let's move down the street. Oh, God. Yes, that horse has completely abandoned her. Let's zoom in. Let's just zoom in real quick. Oh, yes, she's in terrible pain. I like that the Google watermark's right there. It's like, just, just in case you were wondering, this girl's horrible accident was captured by Google. In this image, the girl's on the ground, but if you go up here, 
she's gone. She disappeared. I think she evaporated. The Google Maps car must have stopped and like helped the girl or something. What a good guy. Don't mind me, just chilling in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, let's just, let's just turn around right here. <laughs> yeah, this is something old Lay's Beam would have done. I have definitely driven on actual roads in a Bobcat. Uh, so I'm in Vest land, going down the road. Just going down the road, just living life like normal. Um, what the hell is that shadow? <laughs> it appears I have been spotted by a couple of spear fishermen. No, that's the Google Maps car native predator. Oh no. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I want to know how these people seem to know when Google Maps cars are coming through. Ah, uh, this is in Staplehurst, England. That, uh, that appears to be Harambe. Oh no. Uh, wow, that's kind of cursed. Looks like he's been snapped in half. Don't mind me, just going down the road in Chio Patman Talax color. That probably offended someone. <laughs> see, unlike a lot of the images here, I don't think this is intentional. Nah, see, a lot of people are setting these up when they know the Google Maps car is coming through. This man's actually just a clown. Going down the highway in Alaska. Imagine, <laughs> just taking a look at the billboard over there. Oh, let me zoom in so you guys can see. The world famous skinny dicks. World famous. Have you not heard of skinny dicks? Wow. One of the most famous places in Alaska, skinny dicks. Oh man, isn't Google Maps great? It lets you just explore places of the world you'd never normally see. I would never normally get to see skinny dicks. Welcome to Bagley, Iowa, where the only source of transportation is a John Deere mower. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm watching this, man. This is actually just how he gets around town. You're in a small rural town. Don't really need cars. I'm pretty sure mowers don't have to obey road rules, so you can kind of just do whatever you want. That's smart. Yeah, just chilling in South Holland. Someone's got this on their front doorstep. <laughs> I can't read the words because I don't speak Holland. I can only assume very creepy person lives here. So I had like a bunch of links put together. So I click these things and I have no idea what I'm about to, to, about to see. So like I usually just spin around until I see something. I think that's it. I think that's what I was supposed to see in this. That's just how they greet people in these parts. Just two guys saying hello to each other. Where, where, where? Oh, makes sense. This is England. Yeah, that's just how the English say hello to each other. I just like the idea that these guys didn't know the Google Maps thing was there. And this was meant to be a private encounter. So I click, I click this link, and the first thing I see is hand job nails and spa. Clearly those English men thought they'd go into business together and start a nail salon. Uh, apparently this one isn't street view. Uh, the link just said zoom in. I'm just gonna zoom in. All right then, all right then. Ah, it's a PP. Uh, this one's just a picture of uh, Pittsburgh. And you know, it's just, it's just someone vibing. It's just someone living life, man. Just a furry in its natural habitat. Ah, uh, you know, we're just hanging out in Phuket. You know, didn't, just hanging out, just right by the beach. Um, this appears to be a man washing his wife's backside with a hose. Well, you know what? At least they're not using toilet paper. And I told you guys from the start, shower heads are the best method. You know, like Google Map cars just don't come around very often. <laughs> so for a Google Map car to capture you shoving a hose into your wife's butt, that's great timing. These guys are just like damn tourists. <laughs> ah, you know, there's nothing to see here. Just a man on a big wheel bicycle carrying a penguin around. Uh, this link just said that this this is from Mr. Beast. Um, apparently that's that's the battle bus he made for Tifu. <laughs> what are the chances this ends up on Google Maps? Yeah, right. So apparently this one, I'm just supposed to go along the path. Oh, oh, now you can see. Oh my God. <laughs> of all the times to fall off a bike. I am so glad you chose to fall off a bike in front of a Google Maps thing. What, what did you even fall over? There's nothing there. It reminds me of that comic of just riding along on a bike and then sticking a, a stick through your wheel and falling over yourself. Like, how did you even fall, woman? Ah, uh, we're in Prara di do Diablo. This man just up... <laughs> this man just doing a handstand randomly on the beach. Ah, uh, Tem Temagawa Aqueduct. Just a bunch of people with pigeon masks on their heads. Some of these, I think it's like people trying too hard to do something viral for Google Maps. Like I prefer the more spontaneous ones. Like this is clearly set up. Let me go down the street and see what they're doing. Oh no, they're still there. This I don't even know what country this is. It just says the number 92. Maybe because the, there's a giant cover up. They're trying to hide where this happened. But this is clearly like an apple van. An apple van has had a catastrophic accident. I mean, they're probably not apples. I just don't know what they are. Red onions, maybe? I don't know what seemed to happen here. But there's a naked man in a car trunk. Not sure if uh, Google Maps 
um, has captured someone surviving an abduction or not. <laughs> uh, Google Maps managed to capture a man reading in his underwear. Clearly, this man is so confident he has no fear. This guy is clenching his nose. I think that guy might be wearing some dirty underwear. I don't know about that. Oh, what? Google Maps captured a house on fire. <laughs> Like, I don't think your house burns down every day. At least mine doesn't. So for that to coincide uh, with when the Google Maps car is coming through, unless they just did it to be viral. They probably saw the car, lit up a gas tank, viral photo. It's like a Google Maps car meetup. They have like gatherings and stuff. Honestly, I always thought it was just the one car. I thought it was the one car going across the entire planet. Didn't know there was multiple of them. All right, well, that is a collection of the absolute dumbest crap you can find on Google Maps. We scoured the internet to find the dumbest stuff. I don't know, I, I was bored. I was literally just like, I want to Google that stuff. So I enjoyed it. That was a fun adventure. Subscribe, like the video, use code laser in every item shop, and I'm going to see you say yeet.